Hi, this video tutorial I will cover object input stream. Here you can see file. Here you can see Java application. Java application can use uh, object input stream to read primitive data types and objects which are previously written using uh, object output stream in this file. Only objects uh, that support uh, serializable or externalizable interface can be read from the streams. Object input stream class belongs to java.io package. Super class of uh, object input stream is input stream. Super class of uh, input stream is object. Object input stream class implements closable, data input, object input, object stream constants and uh, auto closable interfaces. Object input stream class supports uh, two constructors. Using these two constructors, we can create uh, object input stream object. First constructor is a default constructor. Second constructor accept uh, input stream. Here you can see the methods uh, supported by object input stream class. Available method, closed method, read methods, read primitive data types methods. Read method to read the object. Here I have defined uh, student class which implements uh, serializable interface. So objects of uh, student class can be serialized and uh, save it in a disk or uh, database. Here I have defined uh, two fields, name and age. Here you can see student constructor which accept uh, name and age. Using this student constructor, we can create uh, student object. And uh, here I have defined getter and setter methods for name and age. And here I have overridden two string method. This method returns student information. Here I have defined the class object output stream demo. It has main method. Inside main method, I have created object output stream demo object. Then I am calling write student object method. Here I have created object output stream object using object output stream constructor which accept output stream. Output stream I am passing as file output stream. Here I have created file output stream object using file output stream constructor which accept uh, file name. File name is uh, student.temp. Uh, Here I have created uh, student object using student constructor which accept uh, name and uh, age. Name is Peter and uh, age is uh, 15. Then I am printing uh, student object. Then using uh, write object method of uh, object output stream, I am writing the student object into the student.temp uh, file. Inside finally block, I am closing uh, object output stream. I will run this program and show you the output. Here you can see the output. Successfully written student object to the file. The file is uh, student.temp. I am refreshing this project. Here you can see student.temp file is created and it contains student object. Next we will see using object input stream how to read this student object information from student.temp file and reconstruct the student object. Here I have defined the class object input stream demo. It has main method. Inside main method, I have created object input stream demo object. Then I am calling read student object method. Here I have created object input stream object using object input stream constructor which accept input stream. Input stream I am passing as file input stream. 
here I have created file input stream object using file input stream constructor which accept file name. File name is student.temp. Here using read object method of object input stream, I am reading student information from student.temp file and reconstructing the student object. Then I am printing student object and student object information. Inside finally block, I am closing object input stream. I will run this program and show you the output. Here you can see the output. Successfully read student object from the file. And here you can see the student information. And this is about object input stream. And thanks for watching.